I'm Karen Butcher and I have charcot marie tooth disease. charcot marie tooth disease is a peripheral nerve disease. That means the nerves between the spinal cord and the extremities, the arms and legs, don't work properly. And there are various different reasons for that, depending on the type. But the ultimate uh, result is that the muscles weaken, uh, mainly in hands and feet, but it can get worse over time and, and progress up the arms and up the legs. CMT uh, is the most common of the neuromuscular disorders affecting one in seven and a half thousand of the general population. It can be so mild that some people don't know they have it, so they might only, for example, complain of having difficulty in buying shoes or having high arches in their feet. That might be the only manifestation. On the other hand, it can be more severe uh, resulting in walking difficulties and deformities of the feet uh, due to the very high arches. For people with CMT, um, the heart is not involved, so that is good, it doesn't require regular monitoring. But in people who have more severe muscle weakness, it's important that they have their breathing function monitored. CMT affects my feet mainly. Um, my legs are much weaker than they ought to be. I've had an awful lot of orthopaedic surgery over the years to uh, straighten my big toe, lower the high arches, which is very common in CMT, um, stabilise my ankles, because I used to twist my ankle all the time. Practically every other step I would be twisting my ankle. Um, up to the point where I actually had a couple of years ago a uh, total ankle fusion. My hands are mildly affected. Um, I can sew and do things dexterity wise, which is quite unusual for people with CMT, but I couldn't get a uh, top off a bottle of water to save my life, you know. So the, the strength is not great. People with CMT can also have reduced sensation or feeling in their feet, and it's really important that they're aware of this because if you have reduced sensation, you might, for example, have an injury and not be aware of it. So I've certainly seen patients where they've had a fall and actually broken a bone and walked around on it for a few days without being aware. You know, I'll say to my husband, my toe sore. I don't know which toe is sore. You'll have to have a look and see whether there's a red bit on a toe. Likewise, again, if you don't have such good feeling in your feet, if your shoes are rubbing, you might not notice it and that might lead to infection and damage to the uh, tissues underneath. It's important to attend specialist neuromuscular centres because they have the specialist there that know about the specific condition. Many people are told with CMT, you know, there's nothing we can do about it, it's progressive and hereditary, go away and live with it. Uh, a specialist centre will know that that is not true, that the condition can be managed, and that it, but it has to be managed in order to be manageable so the management of CMT involves uh, multidisciplinary care um, with a specialist, uh, but also physiotherapist and an occupational therapist. Yeah, my occupational therapist is providing them with uh, a stair lift to get out my stairs. I've had a disabled facilities grant in the past that's levelled the access into my house. Uh, I have a, a downstairs toilet and a wet floor shower, so that uh, that makes uh, yeah, bathing and stuff easier. We know that it can be difficult for people to secure the equipment and the financial support that they're entitled to. And so we feel that the advocacy service here helps people to understand how to actually fill out forms to help them be put in a better position so that they can eventually secure that, that information. Muscular Dystrophy UK has hundreds of publications, things about management and the genetics and inheritance around that. Information about the CMT is absolutely crucial because you can bet your life that no one has ever heard of it. Um, and that's hard to deal with sometimes if you've been diagnosed with a condition that, you know, even your next door neighbour goes, well, something wrong with your teeth? No, what? You know? Um, it's very, it is absolutely crucial to get the right information so then you can go to your medical people and say this is what I need, uh, this is the condition, this is, this is how I need managing.
Musky Dystrophy UK have just produced uh, a new alert card for people with CMT. So this was developed to allow people with CMT to have information and a, and a small format like this that can fit in people's wallets, in people's pockets, that they can then present to, to other health professionals, to schools, to um, employers, to give an overview of CMT and, and what it's all about and what the symptoms are. To have something like that with, with sort of authoritative information on it that can be sort of whipped out the person and say, look, this is what I've got, this is the condition, this is what it can do, will help no end. If someone's just been diagnosed with CMT or their child's just been diagnosed with CMT, I think my main advice would be is don't panic. Most of us live very good lives, we work, we do all the things that you would expect someone to do um, and there is plenty of help and support out there. It's not the end of the world.